Right, now, to understand the calculus, you first have to understand what a limit is. Now, if we take this parabola I've drawn here, y, this is y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. I'll just, I'll just write that down. That's y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. And I've, I've drawn this, this um, parabola. Now, the first case is, what is the limit as x goes towards 4? of x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now, on the parabola, we will see as x approaches 4, right, as x approaches 4 from this side or from the other side, then by substituting 4 into this equation, we'll determine the value that will approach. So we'll simply do that. We'll put in uh, 4 for x, and we get 4 squared minus 2 times 4, uh, minus 3, which is 16 minus 8 minus 3, which gives the result of 5. So this is just a simple matter of subtracting that value in. Now, we can pause the video and have a go at the, the next one. Work out uh, the limit as x tends to 1, as x tends to 1. Right, now, what you should have done is you put the 1 in, you get 1 squared minus 2 times 1, a bit wobbly, sorry, minus 3, which gives me uh, 1 minus 2 minus 3, 1 minus 2 minus 3, which gives the result of negative 4. All you need to do is be very careful with your substitution. All right, now the next one, the next limit, right, as uh, x tends to negative 1, so x is tending from negative 1 from either this side or this side, Put negative 1 in, and we get negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 minus 3, which equals 1 plus 2 minus 3, which gives the result of 0, which you should have got. OK, now in the next, next type, uh, we can't just directly substitute in the, uh, x equals 3 here, because you'll notice that you'll get a 0 in the denominator. And the same here, you've got a 0 here and a 0 down here. So we need to, first of all, factorise the numerator. So I'll do that. So that's the limit of, as x goes towards 3, of x minus 3, x plus 3, all over x minus 3, and we can cancel these x minus 3s because x is not equal to 3. And then, like before, just so substitute in the 3 for the x, and you get the limit is equal to 6. And we can see this on this graph over here. You can draw the graph of y equals x plus 3, but x is not equal to 3, which means that if x is not equal to 3, over here you'll have a hole. Maybe I should, maybe I should make a little bit of a hole on that one. I don't think I can do that. Okay, imagine there's a hole there. Okay, so at this particular point, we'll see that the limit is equal to 6. As you're, um, and that's coming from both sides. Okay, now I'll just pause the video and have a go at the others. Just remembering that you can't, you have, you'll need to factorise both numerators to be able to work out the limit. OK, so you would have had the limit as x tends towards 0 of, take out the common factor of x, x squared plus 2 over x. The x is cancelled out because it's not equal to 0. Put in the 0 here as before, and the limit is 2. Do we get that? All right, have a go at the next one. OK, now what you have to do here, you have to factorise that cubic. If you recall, to factorise a cubic, it's not a cubic, a difference of two cubes, beg your pardon. That is x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1, all over x minus 1. Again, the x minus 1 is cancelled because x is not equal to 1. Now we substitute in 1 for x, so we get 1 squared, which is 1, plus 1 plus 1, and the result is 3. I hope that's been helpful for you.